All right, all right, all right. Hello, everyone. We've got another new user announcement here. Um, I'm here with CodePoint with Michael Matthews. Uh, Michael, thank you for being here today. Really appreciate it. Um, just, you know, CodePoint's one of our newest ecosystem partners, but why don't you give a little TLDR of who you are and who CodePoint is? Very good. Well, thank you, Jacob and Nova Labs for uh, wanting to introduce us to the healing community. Uh, TLDR. Well, uh, I'm Mike Matthews. I'm the president and CTO for CodePoint, and I lead the company's uh, product development and uh, technology efforts. Uh, I, I myself just real quickly have been kicking around the industry for about 25 years in advanced location wireless technologies. Uh, we created CodePoint uh, in 2019 uh, to, with the goal of creating very long life, low cost tracking tags and devices. And we were very excited about the potential of LoRaWAN to provide deep penetration into buildings as well as its long range capabilities. And uh, the company, uh, we launched our first uh, solution, our tracking tag, which I have a, one of them here uh, in 2021, targeting campus environments. And since then, we've been expanding into smart sensors and highly configurable devices. All right. When you say campus, I mean, do you mean specifically like college campus, school campus kind of things, or just campuses uh, like with multiple buildings and things like yeah, that? Yeah, campus is the term we use for basically large areas comprised of multiple buildings, typically for enterprises, um, could be schools, could be college campuses, certainly, uh, yeah. but any place where you've got a mix of indoor and outdoor. Gotcha. Uh, uh, environments. LoRaWAN is, you know, a perfect solution for those kinds of places. Yeah. No, that's great. That's great. Um, kind of piggybacking on that a little bit. Why did CodePoint choose to work with Helium, and how long have you been working with Helium? Well, that, that's that's. Uh, we first learned about Helium in uh, 2021 uh, when we were exploring new opportunities for tag. Okay. Uh, one of the early concerns of our early customers was coverage. Yeah. That, you know, they were enthusiastic about heal as uh, about Laura Wan as we were, uh, but it became clear that unless they were putting up gateways, <laughs> the coverage would end at a certain point. Yeah. So you know, you ended up with this situation where we had these islands of coverage. You know, the campus obviously, and we developed our tag to support caching, so that if you went between the islands of coverage, things worked pretty well. But there was a definite express needs like, well, I want it to work when I'm roaming around the city or, you know, when I, I want to, I'm out and about. Yeah. And uh, helium, you know, we had heard about it, but we hadn't tried it yet. And uh, but once we started building up, to it, it was a natural fit. You know, it, it it fundamentally changed how we thought of our tracker. You know, we thought of it as a very campus indoor outdoor based solution. And with helium. All of a sudden now we had a national footprint, you yeah. know, to go to, and it, it just totally changed. And, you know, so since last summer, we've been actually retooling a bit, building up new relationships and stuff with the idea that this could be a, you know, a national product, not just something for a campus. And uh, so, yeah, we're, <laughs> it, it, when we discovered healing it was like, yeah, we're on board with that. <laughs> we're sold. Right. Yeah. Oh, I love I love that testimonial. That's great. Yeah, the uh, you know from from my point of view, it's like how do I help? I I come from the cellular industry, the GPS industry. I have a long history working in those. Mm -hmm. uh, and you know, it's like how do I help this network that has such a great idea for for proliferation of infrastructure, right? Because solving the infrastructure problem is the big deal. Yeah, and uh, it's how do we get involved and help and. You know, one of the things that we decided to we actually pitched the Helium Foundation about what we can help with mapping, network map monitoring, uh, because with, when you have an army of tags out there working in a network, you're collecting data all the time about the network performance. Absolutely. And, yeah. And so, yeah, we actually pitched that to the Helium Network, our foundation, and one and one a grant about it, which we're working on right now. Um, so, yeah, we're all in on Helium. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. So you just mentioned, and I think. Um, I, I knew this, but I'd forgotten it. So you guys are grant recipients from the foundation as well? Yes, yes, we are. We're just kicking off the project now, but yes, we are very excited to be working with the Helium Foundation. Excellent. Now that's a great story too. And I think um, it's good to, for, to get people to even know that those grants exist, you know, and some companies are out there and don't realize that that's an option. So um, definitely want to talk to you more about that. I know you're coming on, you and Zhang are going to come up on the uplink um, in a couple of weeks so we can maybe yeah. build that in as well. Yeah, ha happy to talk about it. I can't 
I say enough good things about the people at the foundation. They're really great to work with. So it's awesome. Pretty good. Um, so you, you know, you showed that device, you talked a little bit about, um, deployments and things like that. How, where do you have devices currently deployed? I mean, is it U S only, is it worldwide? Do you have plans for expansion if it is just, you know, in one place right now? Uh, well, we've been testing aggressively in North America and Europe. Okay. Uh, the, the, te this tag that I have here actually can work in either region and it's comfortable. We can change the software on the fly to, to, to move it around. Uh, we've also been doing some testing in Asia as well, but we have no plans at this moment to launch ourselves into that market. But that being said, we have partners that are uh, looking at developing solutions for those other markets. And so we'll probably ride on their uh, um, tail. Uh, yeah. Tail. What on their coattails. Yeah. Coattails. Yeah, yeah. Co -tails. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> yeah, no problem. <laughs> Um, no, that leads right into my next question, actually, talking about partners. Are there any, you know, major partners that you can kind of name drop or brag about? Uh, ab ab absolutely. It, it, today, what we've learned is that when you work in Loroan and you work in this telemetry area, you've got to work with partners because no one company can do the whole solution. And uh, yeah, our, our biggest partners that we're working with right now, I'm sure you know about, uh, Embedded Works is one of them. We're uh, yes. actually working at length with our tracking tag as well as our, our IoT devices. Uh, companies like Tracksmate, who help us with location and uh, presentation as well. Bobcat, we're working with them. Mm -hmm. And also my devices, those are the, probably the big ones that you'd be aware of in the lower WAN space. Um, but I also need to give a shout out actually to our development partners. Uh, I can't take all the credit that we developed all these devices on our own. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, we, I, we, I, I, <laughs> We are we are heavily a software company, but we work with manufacturing partners like Cheng Hong, YoSmart, and uh, development companies like TechVetica to actually put all the, the infrastructure together as well as the software. So uh, it's been a, a coordinated effort to bring a lot of what we're doing today to the market. Awesome. Great to hear. Um, let's talk about like how many devices, you know, how many do you have or customers have deployed? I mean, you've given me ballpark or something like do you have any big numbers you can kind of brag about a little bit. Well, you know, as with most things, we're, we're just gearing up for formally launching our solutions with Helium. So I don't have a lot of numbers to, to shout about how great things are going. It could um, even be plans, you know, say like, yeah, oh, we well, plan to well, launch. Well, yeah. the, the, the story's better than that, though. So okay. <laughs> the, right now, we're, we're trialing throughout the, the multiple markets. And with the response and, and pre-orders that we're seeing, we expect to be shipping between 10 to 1,000, 15 units per month by early next year. Oh, wow. That's so, awesome. Yeah. So, you know, one of the things that I didn't really say, I uh, probably should have mentioned is that we see Laura, uh, Helium as the first LoRaWAN network that is actually viable for mass scale consumer applications. And it's, it's you know, it's, it's a very different shift in terms of what we've been doing with on the commercial side and the enterprise mm -hmm. side, where we have a lot of private networks, a lot of high reliability. Helium represents an opportunity to go mass scale. Yeah. And so, you know, we as a company, that's been our whole setup from the get-go is to actually build devices that can be mass produced, they're low cost, they're highly reliable and uh, last a long time and don't take a PhD to operate. Yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. <laughs> um, so that's, you know, for us, yeah, that's basically, we've been putting a lot of time and energy and getting ready for all that. Gotcha. That's, that's why we have such a, a group of uh, partners working with us in the first place. Cause yeah, we, there's no way to pull off that on our own. So yeah, for sure. No, that's, that's awesome. 10 to 15,000 a month, you says kind of your yeah. goal, your plan. Yeah. That's, yeah, that's but one, one of our partners selling in other markets that are, that are not lower WAN, you know, they're, they're, they're shadowing us by a factor of five. So they're, they're outperforming <laughs> us right now. So we feel like we're behind. Wow. So. <laughs> oh, excited to see, excited to see those numbers for sure. Yeah. Um, I know I didn't have this in my um, questions that I sent over to you earlier, but like with Helium 5G, I know that's launching and coming up. I mean, are there is, you know, is that going to help you? Do you have big plans for anything with Helium 5G? Is there something exciting? I, I, I will say I'm certainly interested in it. We have looked at it with our devices. We don't have a mo module yet that can support that. Yeah. Um, that meets our requirements for performance. And uh, but it is definitely a market we're interested in. And, and, and quite frankly, I'm eager to help out and see what we can do. We're, we're going to be testing it next year. Uh, okay. But we're, we're like 100% in on LoRaWAN right now. Yeah. Gotcha. You know, the, the performance profile of LoRaWAN is so great for what we're doing. Um, it, it, I just want to see it succeed in a very big way. Yeah, for sure. Um, 
What about, I mean, you talked about those numbers of devices like next year and things like that. Do you have any other major plans on the horizon that you can kind of tease a little bit? Well, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I think the things that we need to tease is the fact that we're, you know, we're about to launch our, our, some of our helium kitted solutions. So starting next month and it'll dovetail with your up, uplink program, mm -hmm. we're going to be introducing our kitted solutions for small business and consumer applications. So this will be the first time we introduce and roll out a shrink wrap solution okay. uh, that allows people to basically buy the product, open it up, install the app on their phone, scan the devices and away they go. And uh, everything else will be taken care of. There'll be no, no, no involvement with systems integrators or touching consoles or anything. Just plug and play. Yeah, and, yeah that's great. Uh, and it'll be uh, very reasonably priced. And so, yeah, we'll be launching those kits at the end of the month. And then um, we also have, we'll be testing in the fall, a new tracking tech. Uh, it'll be an asset tracking tech, which the one that I have here is more for human use. It's a, you know, badge, card badge yeah. tag. Uh, the one that we're bringing out for asset tracking is about one third the size of this, quite a bit shorter, a little thicker, but a lot shorter. Okay. And um, it uh, it will be useful for packages, pets, and other types of things that don't really want to know that they have got a tag with them. <laughs> so, yeah. No, well, I mean, even things like pet tracking, I know that's a huge, is a very popular use case among the like, community and stuff, you know, because you want to know where your cat or dog is, you know, and that's that's super helpful. One of the things that we've had just a great time with helium on is actually tracking packages though. It's, um, yeah. uh, it's been an eye opener about how useful it is with helium to, to see, cause we watch our devices go through airports. We watch them go through all the mail distributions, both UPS, FedEx, U S postal service. Yeah. And it's working very well and, uh, it's pretty neat. And so, yeah, I mean, the only problem with package tracking is how do you get the tags back? Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. The one, what we've heard a lot of people wanting to make disposable tags. We don't feel that's a very good environmental choice. But, uh, I, uh, yeah, I, that's not my. That wouldn't be my first choice either for yeah. the environment. But I'm, I'm sure there's a solution to it some way. But I, I agree. Yeah. I mean, I've seen statistics about how many. I mean, we all know. I think we miss packages or they get lost or something. You know, you want to know where your stuff is, and the easier to track it, the better. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, so last thing, you guys are coming on the uplink August 16th is what I have you scheduled right now. So are you planning, I mean, you can just tease a little bit like what you're going to showcase like that. Sure. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll be showcasing our location and IoT solutions with our partner applications. So it'll be a okay. mix of us, but also a mix of what our partners are doing with our stuff. Gotcha. Um, and uh, we will be talking about shipping tags across country and, and looking at some of the results of that. We'll be talking about our stories about how... Um, we're seeing uh, the penetration results for using helium in a consumer environment. Uh, again, you know, we're all about that mass market uh, yeah. solution. And we'll also be playing with the starter kit and having people uh, taking a look at that. Awesome. But, yeah, no, that's great. So last thing, just, I see you have www.codepoint.xyz. Is that the best way for people to get in touch if they want to reach out or, you know, learn more about CodePoint right now? Do you have like, social media or discord or anything that people we, can we do um you know uh we're not probably as adept at social media as we should but uh <laughs> the uh, if you if you, yeah, if you just go to uh, info at codepoint.xyz we'll certainly get a hold of us perfect uh but uh yeah we're on twitter um and uh I hear that we're on Discord, but I'm not on there personally myself. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, yeah. You know, once you get in mass market, you might need to get on yeah. there a little bit more. It's our, our, our head of device engineering is, uh, he's a huge Discord fan and he's actually doing go. all of our Helium interface with us, for us on that. So Awesome. All right. Well, thank you very much, Michael. I appreciate you coming on and super excited to have CodePoint as an ecosystem partner and looking forward to the uplink on August 16th. And for the audience, I'll, we'll have registration links for that coming out soon. So you can see more from Michael and the team. Thank you. All right. Yep. Bye everyone. Bye-bye.